Hey, I'm Liz with Austin Edible Gardens, and I'm going to show you today how we are going to build three raised beds in our backyard. Um, we have a great space in our backyard that was underutilized. It was just a weedy 12 foot by 12 foot area right off the kitchen. Um, and so I wanted to put vegetables out there, build a kitchen garden. Um, we're using raised beds because um, it adds form to the garden as well as function instead of just gardening right in the ground. Um, they're going to be nice um, raised beds that we can sit on and enjoy company with. So um, after we chose the area to put the raised beds in, we had to get rid of the weeds. The area was mostly um, Bermuda grass and just some broadleaf weeds. Um, we wanted to um, use a method that did not involve chemicals or herbicides. So we used a process called solarization um, where we laid cardboard down over the weeds and kind of smothered the weeds with heat and lack of sunlight. And um, we, we left the cardboard on for about six months and that killed all the weeds underneath. So now the area is ready to be prepped for the beds. Um, I want to mention too that um, the, the area that we chose got six to eight hours of sunlight. Um, that's important for growing vegetables. So we kind of had the, the perfect spot for that and we're ready to prep the area to build the raised beds. Um, we have to remove the cardboard so that we can level the ground underneath the cardboard. We don't want any bumps or um, kind of um, major inclines. Um, so the soil all stays the same. The beds lay flush with the ground and the gravel that we're going to use around the beds doesn't get washed away. Okay, uh, we are going to get started building the raised beds. Um, again, it's um, rough finished cedar. Cedar will not rot when we set it on the ground, so we always use cedar. Um, we decided on two by sixes, and we have them cut into eight foot sections and three foot sections for the sides. We have some four by four posts for the corners. I wanted to mention that we added um, a support in the long four foot by eight foot bed. Um, because the span is so long on this, um, the pressure from the soil that we add is gonna push out on the uh, boards, the two by sixes. So we added uh, some two by four um, pieces down the side and a support um, down the middle. <laughs> 